see if he can uh, take advantage of that. And we are on the way. Good low kick there from Sinhagel. 64 fights uh, on his, under his belt, so I'm pretty sure he's those long legs and then punches down the pipe. Put his will on Chukut. Right. All right, Chukut, you see the movement. Now he moves out the corner, how he rotates around. Nice long straight punch there from uh, Chukut. Good punch there from Chukut. Who seems to have uh, found the range a little better now. Sinago still trying to uh, press forward with those long, long limbs of his. See again, um, good moving out of the corner by Shukut. Trying to uh, attack Sinago from a different angle. And again, there with the low kick, nice movement there. Speaks of the uh, fight IQ of uh, Shukut. Intelligence. Uh, guys, uh, right, left straight over the top. <laughs> Tries a high kick, but how do you high kick somebody who's almost two meters in the face? I can do it, that's for sure. <laughs> Body punch and a low kick there from Shukut. <coughs> Ducks under the punch from Sinhago. Crossing the last 30 seconds of the second round. Yeah, it's good work. And then Sinago fires back with his own punches. Swinging now. Good counter there with the right. But you could. And again, moving out of the way and counting with the low kick. Sin Hagel pushing forward again, but Chukut again moving around, moving away from the ropes, landing his own attacks. <laughs> Step in knee there from Sin Hagel. Attempts to cap kick, inside kick. Sinago answers with some punches. Good combination again from Shukut. Closes off the knee before Sinago can throw it. Good kicks here again from Shukut. Sinago still pushing forward. Good work there. Nice inside uppercut from Sinago. Shukut answers. That's a halfway point of this third round. Referee breaks it up, uh, Sinago's uh, tangled up with the ropes again. Sinago misses the kick. Sinago's corner urging their fighter to push the pace. Thinking that you could is tired. They might be right. But he's absolutely still active in this fight. You see his mouth wide open, gasping for air. 
Again, trying to close the distance here. Nice step in need from Sinhalen. Last 30 seconds on the way. And to Kurtz, we're going to give it one last push. And here comes Sinhalen again, last 10 seconds. And then she could for the low kick and a punch. Pushes him backwards. Empties the tank here. Right the end of the and there we have the end of this fight. Will it be Sinhagel? Will it be Shukut? Hard to say. It was a close fight in the first round. There it was Sinhagel having some success with those long kicks and knees. But Shukut moving around, firing back with his own kicks. Using his angles to attack from different sides and at times putting Sin Hagel on the back foot in the corner. Very good step in knee, and then again, Shukut moving out the corner and taking control over that exchange. He did that a couple of times. Here we see it again. But Sin Hagel kept firing back. Remain dangerous with those long arms and those long legs and knees. And towards the end of the third round, you can see most fighters getting tired. Senhago pushing forward, and in the end, it was Shukut pushing forward again. Good fight. Let's go to Tom Wesseling for the official decision. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, a big applause for these two fighters, Ritzel Senhago and Emin Shukut. Well, after three rounds and three minutes, we counted the points, and the winner is the man in the red corner, Emin Chukut. And there we have it, Amin Chukut. Lives up to status as champion and beats Russell Sinago here in an entertaining back and forth fight. And uh, as I said, it was his angles and movement and fight IQ that uh, won him this fight. Congratulations to him and uh, also uh, congratulations to uh, Sin Hagel. On a great fight, he didn't take the win, but he definitely uh, showed what he's made of.